This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this very simple uh, bicycle graphic using Inkscape and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand, left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. The first thing I'm going to do is set the view to custom and then zoom in at one to one and then I'm going to open up the Align and Distribute menu and we're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down and then we'll open up the edit objects colors gradients and stroke menu with that button so the first thing I'm going to do is create a circle I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool and hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that uh, then I'll bring the opacity down about in half I'll come up here to the select tool and I'm going to turn on the lock icon and where it says W for the width, whatever that number is, just erase all of that and type in 200. We want to make that 200 by 200 pixels. And then I'll right click that and go to duplicate. I'll turn that red and I'll change the width of this to 170. Hit enter. And I'll click and drag over both of those and I'm going to center them on the vertical and horizontal axis. And then we'll go to path difference. And what I'm going to do now is this is going to represent a wheel the back wheel here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on, um, I'm going to put a, an outline going around this, otherwise known as a stroke. Uh, hold shift in the keyboard and click on the color black right here. And then I'll click on the X. I'll let go of shift and then click on the X to get rid of the fill color. And I'll bring the opacity up and there's our outlined uh, bicycle tire. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a, another circle. So let's come back to the circles and ellipses tool and I'll hold control and shift and click and drag to create a circle. We want this one to be considerably bigger than, um, than the, uh, this circle that we just drew. And then let's come over here to the uh, select tool. I actually forgot something here. Let's come back to this and let's go over to the stroke style tab. And we wanna make sure that the width of this is set to seven. We want that to be a seven pixel stroke. And after that, come up here to where it says effect and make sure you have this first button turned off. When scaling objects, scale the stroke width by the same proportion. You don't want that on. We want that unchecked or turned off like that. And we can take this circle and again, just make sure you have this set to this circle set to a seven point stroke as well. And once you do that, just hold shift and click on the other pair of circles and we'll center that on the, uh, the vertical and horizontal axis and then click off of it to deselect so we can select just this other circle that we just created. Hold control and shift and scale it in like that. Maybe about that much. Uh, maybe a little, put a little more padding in there. That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna create a square. So we'll come over to the squares and rectangles tool and I'm gonna hold control and shift in the keyboard and just click and drag to create a big square like that. I'll come over to the select tool, click on this a second time to get uh, the rotation handles hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this around so the corners are going upright like that. And then I'm going to take this and put this I'd say right about here. You know what? I'll put that there and then I'll hold shift and I'll click on this object and I'll center that on the vertical axis and then align the bottom edges. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag over that whole thing to duplicate, uh, to select it all and then we'll right click it and go to duplicate and then hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this off to the right. Then we're going to take this square right here and then hold shift and click on this outer stroke right there, that outer outline, that outer circle, and we'll, we'll go to path, uh, cut path. Then we can click off of that to deselect. Then we can take this bottom piece of the circle and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And there we have, it's kind of like a, uh, I guess it's called a mud guard or a rain guard or something like that that sits over the wheel of the bicycle. We're going to do the same thing to this, to this tire as well, only it's going to be positioned differently. So we'll take this square, click on it, and then click on it a second time to get back to the rotation handles. And hold control on the keyboard and we'll rotate this back around so it's sitting upright like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here to where it says snap to cusp nodes. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to turn on this box that says snap from and to an item's rotation center. Turn that on as well. And then we're going to grab this box near the bottom right corner and we're going to snap the bottom right corner into the center of that circle. And that's what that tool does. That snaps objects to the center point of an object. So we're going to snap it right to the center point. That's pretty good. 
and then we'll hold shift on the keyboard and click on this outer circle right there and again we'll go to path cut path click off of it to deselect and we could take this little object and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that so we have our two wheels here um, the next step would be to create some spokes to put in here so let's go to the bezier pen you can just click B on, you could also press B on the keyboard to get that and I'm gonna zoom in on this wheel a little bit I'm just gonna press plus on the keyboard a few times to zoom in and you can move the page around like this by pressing down your mouse wheel and moving the mouse I'm gonna put this up here and click and hold control and bring that line straight down to the bottom part and then click and press enter to create a line like that and I'm gonna make the width of this four pixels so I'll change that to four and I'll press uh, actually I'll go back to the select tool and I'll take this object and put it out to the side and I'll press one on the keyboard to zoom out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this object and I'm gonna click on it a second time to get the rotation handles and I'm gonna hold control on the keyboard and grab one of these corner arrows and you could see we could rotate it around like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it back to the upright position like this and then press the space bar and that's gonna make a copy and we can make more copies and you could just rotate this around pressing the space bar and making copies so once we made the first copy I'm gonna bring this over I'm gonna rotate it two steps we're holding control and the left click the whole time so I'm gonna rotate it two steps one two press the space bar and then we're gonna do this all the way around so one two space bar there's another there's another and there's another just like that we click and drag over the whole thing group that together and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on the tire center that on the vertical and horizontal axis and then click off of it to deselect and we'll take this those spokes that we just created right click that and go to duplicate hold shift in the keyboard and click on the on the other tire center that on the vertical and horizontal axis and then we can click off of that to deselect we can go over to the circles and ellipses tool and I'm just gonna hold control and shift and create another circle and we're gonna come over here to the stroke style tab and change this back to 7 we'll press 7 go to uh, go back to the select tool hold shift in the keyboard and click on the tire right here and center that on the vertical and horizontal axis and click off of it to deselect and then we could take this circle right here and we could turn this we could turn the fill color white and then just hold control and shift and scale it down about that much and then we could right click that go to duplicate and hold shift click on this tire center that on the vertical and horizontal axis click off of it to deselect everything so we have the two tires and the wheels and the spokes and the mud guards right here the next thing we're going to create is the frame of the bicycle so to do that I'm gonna grab the squares tool squares and rectangles I'll hold control and shift and click and drag to create uh, a square about that big um, let me go back to the select tool you can't see, you can't really tell maybe if I drag it over this object you can see there's a white fill in here we're gonna get rid of that white fill by clicking on the X right here and then we're going to take this bottom corner bottom left corner and snap it to the center point of the tire right there just like that and then we'll convert this to a path by going to path object to path and I'm going to go to the uh, edit paths by nodes tool and click and drag over these two top rows of nodes and I'll hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag these down so right about where they're above the, uh, the, uh, the rain guard there and then I'm going to hold control and drag these over to the right maybe about that much that's pretty good just like that and then we can go back to the select tool I'm going to take this circle right here in the middle of that tire and just raise that to the top so it's going above the frame this button right here raise selected object to the top and then uh, let's press uh, let's go back to our bezier pen we can press B on the keyboard to get that and let's snap the cursor onto this corner and click and then snap it onto that corner and then click and then press enter on the keyboard to create that line we're gonna make the width of this seven just like the rest of the graphic uh, we'll give this a rounded uh, a rounded join and a rounded cap we'll go back to the select tool and I'm gonna hold control and grab this top left arrow of that line and just click and drag that up maybe about that much and then we can right click that and go to duplicate and then hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this over to about here right about there right about right before the corner of the uh, frame there and then we could right click that and go to duplicate 
and then hold shift in the keyboard and click on the frame so we have it both selected and go to path cut path and then click off of it to deselect and we could take this object and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and then we could take our wheel right here let's click and drag over that entire thing and let's grab it right here in the center and put it let's snap it to the let's snap the center point to the, the end of this line that we just created click off of that to deselect we'll take this line we'll raise that to the well actually no we'll take this circle right here and raise that to the top so that's going above the uh, the fork right there the fork of the uh, the bicycle click off of it to deselect and uh, let's create a seat and a handle for this thing so I'm gonna zoom in by pressing plus on the keyboard a few times and I'll press B on the keyboard to get the Bezier pen. I'm gonna snap to this corner right here and click, and then hold control and just bring this out to the right, maybe about that much, and click, and then we could press enter. We could change the width of this, the stroke style width, change that back to seven, give it a rounded join and a rounded cap, and I'll go to the uh, select tool, and I'm just gonna hold control and shift this over to the left a little bit, maybe about that much. And then we can come over here to the handlebars. We're going to create some handlebars, actually. And again, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse to move the page over. We'll grab, uh, we'll press B on the keyboard to get the Bezier pen. We'll snap to this, uh, we'll snap to this corner right here and click. Hold Control and bring this line out to about here and then click. And then while still holding Control, click and drag it down to about there and then click and then just press enter on the keyboard to create that line. And again, we'll change this to a seven point stroke. We'll give it a rounded cap and a rounded join. And let's go over to the edit paths by nodes tool. And let's grab this portion of the line right here and just pull that out a little bit like that. And once we've done that, we can click on this node and you'll see these handles pull out. And what we wanna do is grab that handle and just pull it out straight to the right. Just hold control so it's locked to go horizontally, we'll pull it out about that much, and we'll do the same thing to this handle. Just hold control and pull it out about about the same distance. We'll go back to the select tool. Uh, let's press one on the keyboard to zoom back out. Click off of it to deselect. Let me see what else uh, see what else I'm missing here. All right, so we're going to create the uh, the chain wheel there. So let's go back to the circles and ellipses tool. And actually, you know what? We don't have to do that. Let's go to the select tool, and we could take this object and we could just duplicate that. We can right click that and go to duplicate and we can grab this and snap it onto this corner right there and just hold control and shift and we'll make that one a little bigger. Maybe about that much. And uh, I'm going to zoom in by pressing plus in the keyboard and we're going to create the pedals. You see here I got pedals going up and down there. I'll press B on the keyboard to get the back to the uh, Bezier pen. I'll snap to the center right there and click, hold control, bring this line straight down and click and press enter. And I'm gonna make the width of this seven, uh, rounded cap and rounded join. Go back to the select tool, we'll right click this, go to duplicate. We're going to rotate this around 90 degrees clockwise or, or counterclockwise, either one. Hold shift, click on the, uh, the other line we just drew and we're going to align the bottom edges and click off of it to deselect. And we'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. We'll click on this object, hold Control, and just click and drag this in a little bit. And again, hold Control, click and drag that in a little bit. And we'll go back to the Select tool. And again, I'm just gonna hold Shift and click on this line just to make sure that it's still centered up on the vertical axis. And then we could actually, um, we can group that together, and then we could right click that and go to Duplicate, and then flip that vertically and snap the object onto the center point right there, but then lower that down one step, lower selection one step. Click that a couple of times so it goes beneath the circle right there. You press one on the keyboard to zoom out. Um, let me see what else. Uh, I'm gonna put these little lines underneath the tires here just to make it look like it's riding on a surface or something. And this should be pretty easy. We'll just press B on the keyboard for the Bezier pen. Click, hold control, bring the line straight out about that much click, press enter. We're going to use our preset size of seven, rounded cap and join. Um, and we'll go to the select tool and I'm just going to hold shift and click on the tire and make sure the bottom edges are aligned. Click off of it to deselect. 
And again, we'll take this one, we'll right click that and go to duplicate, hold control, bring this over about that much. I'll go to the edit paths by nodes tool and just hold control and bring this node in a little bit. And I'll go back to the select tool and I'll right click this and go to duplicate and hold control and bring this over about that much. And then we'll go back to the uh, edit paths by nodes tool and I'll hold control and take this node and just bring that over to the right about that much. And there, uh, there you have it. We can just click and drag over the whole thing and group it together. Um, if you notice, if you go to scale it down, I'm going to hold control and shift. If you go to scale it down like that, it's going to make the lines a lot thicker, but if you scale it up, it's going to make the lines a lot thinner. If you want to lock everything in at this size, we can go and just turn this back on. When scaling objects, uh, scale the stroke width by the same proportions. We could just turn that back on and it'll lock the stroke at whatever size it is. And um, we could scale it up and down without any kind of distortion. So. That's how you can create that using Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.